Greetings YouTube, Bolded on you here. And Pipe Pastor here. I'm making a video to <clears throat> kind of show off the, the loot we just got um, from uh, Scott from Highlands Tobacco in Scottsdale, Arizona. <clears throat> so uh, sit back and enjoy our bounty. So, uh, so Scott, I, I won a prize on Facebook, or I won a, uh, a giveaway uh, last week, and uh, the giveaway, giveaway, all I had to do was uh, like Highland Cigars post on Facebook and share it and comment, and I won a half pound oh, of man. Snowflake here. Very good tobacco. Is that the one that's marshmallowy? It's um, I think it's it's a cross between an English and, a, and a, um, an aromatic. It's very, very mild, very wonderful. And then I and I won. Uh, oh, oh my god! It's a really cool. Came in this box. Oh. Lambskin uh, tobacco pouch by Joby. Really nice lambskin. The inside's pure lambskin as well. Real fine. Real soft, and I mean the value. These are great pouches that keep your tobacco nice and moist. And then it came with uh, a couple of these, or three of them, um, reusable um, pipe cleaner pouches. Very neat. And keep your pipe cleaners from bending all over I'll the place. I'll take one over there. Yeah? Do the other Oh my And God. of course, uh, several boxes of Highland Cigars famous matches. And I think I believe they're still using the same matches they ordered in like the 70s or 60s. And these are probably the best quality matches you'll ever use. I, I, I use matches from my local tobacconist. And those things are crap, and they go out on you real quick. And these these are like legitimate old vintage style matches, and they're very high quality. So can't say enough about those matches. Well, Scott decided to load my my package up with extras and goodies to share. He with always you all. does. He always is so generous. It's just amazing. So I want to share with you the the goodies that he sent us and maybe try a few of, of these oh, uh, yeah. out for you. Um, so first, should, should we get a, a bulk going first uh, to, before we start showing off all the other? Sure. Okay, so firstly, I am very excited about this. Me too. I, I have been wanting to try I want to like a Peterson. I want to <laughs> like a Peterson tobacco. I've been wanting to try these out for a while now. I've read great reviews about them. Uh, I think what we're going to lead off with is the Peterson um, Holiday Season 2014. Good choice, son. I've read about. I've read good things about this. Let's let's, let's read the description, shall we? The taste of loose cut Virginia's Cavendish and ready rubbed burly tobaccos with a touch of vanilla and a hint of chocolate all come together Ooh. and guarantee a slow and pleasurable smoking experience. Holiday season 2014 will be your perfect companion during the festive season. So sounds wonderful. Let's let's hope it is. Peterson it will be. Peterson aromatics have always bit me really bad. I love Peterson's English and Virginia tobaccos, but the the Cavendish, of, I mean the uh, the aromatic ones have just been a, a, a fail. So we're, high hopes, high hopes. And uh, then the uh, the other one is the Peterson Special Reserve. 2014 uh, with absolute best bright Virginia, ripe burly leaves and tobacco grades carefully selected from the tobacco fields of three continents. Our special reserve 2014 is created. A portion of the tobacco blend is pressed to form cakes then cut into small pieces and hand blended with exclusive ribbon cut and cross cut Virginias. The result is a delightful scent of berries mixed with a hint of exotic fruits which makes it an exquisite smoking experience or a smoking pleasure. So that'll be our second one. <clears throat> Let's light up. Let's get this one going here. 
How you guys been doing out there lately? Smoking anything good that we need to be aware of? Always looking for high quality tobaccos. Mm. Nick is uh, Nick developed a mm. like for English, and I'm still on aromatics, but oh, smell these that. smell like smell that amazing. Ooh, that smells a little bit like Christmas, like the uh, Drew Estate one that we like so much. What was that one called? Um, uh, autumn maple, no. Doesn't it really? I can't remember. It does. Oh my out. gosh, that smells good. Familiar. It reminds me. You know, that reminds me of the my old mentor, uh, Officer Bob Civarelli. He had some tobacco that smelled like that. Maybe. Mm. And it comes with a lot in here. We had nice some big tin. Tins. I never seen a big tin that you size. Wanna, you want to load up here and? Well, thank you. You're. Gentlemen and a scout. While he's loading up, I'll show you the other tobacco he sent. What I'm also excited about. Rattray's Howl of the Wind. And um, I have another tin of this. I mean, uh, another tin of Rattray's that I, ex I really love. It's a Virginia um, called... Here you go. Um, oh, my gosh. Marlin Flake. So Ooh. the Marlin Flake I really like. I'm hoping Howl of the Wind is. is Can I smell there. it in the tin? Or do you want this? to open it? Yeah. We have oh, this yet. is so awesome. Oh, love that. This is something Ooh. that Nick taught me uh, because I gave some poor uh, reviews on Drew Estate uh, tobaccos and then cracked them open like he told me and left them alone for a little bit and let them breathe. Completely different flavor. I, 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 ought, to, I ought to delete those reviews. That's uh, This smells a little bit like like, like, a, uh, like a fig. McClellan's Christmas uh, blend. Oh really? Remember that one? It smells I good. I don't remember uh, ever trying that. Yeah you did. Christmas special. I probably did. Must have left an impression. <laughs> Didn't know you were in the tent that long. Just got a little pinch here, so we can move on. But uh, Scott, thank you so much. This is this is not even all of it, guys. I got more to share with you. Thank you, Scott, once again for blessing my son, which in a roundabout way gets me blessed. I told you not to do that. All right, it's a lighter up. You ready? Mmm. Oh my gosh. You need a matches to show off the matches. Mmm. A lot of flavor. Mmm. Mm -mm. Kind of lemon. I'm getting, I think the, uh, let me use a mask. What are you picking up? Well, first of all, no bite at all. No, not yet. I usually can tell right now I'm going to get bit by it. Um, well, the vanilla comes on you right now. Definitely picking up some Cavendish. Hmm. Cab, yeah. Burly on the back of your tongue. Hmm. Hmm. This is good stuff, guys. Yeah, this is a, it's like a Christmas dessert. Seems like you've been invited to an office party. They got their tacky tree up. And their goofy music. And they got their 
this, they got their uh, smorgasbord of, of treats of brownies and cookies and whatnot. And this is like this is like the, uh, yeah your office party smorgasbord of, of treats going on. Very rich. Mmm. I'm just getting like tons of flavor hitting me. You just draw it in real slow and you just feel it, the, the flavor rolling over your tongue. Oh my goodness. That's nice. But it's not overwhelming at all. Very no. mild. Okay, well, while that's happening, I got more to share with you. Check it out. Bam! Mataza cigars, one of my favorite. Made by Alec Bradley exclusively for Highland cigars. Amazing cigars. Great stick. So happy. Thank you so much, Scott. This looks like it's the um, Torpedo Connecticut one. Great stick, guys. Great stick. We've got that going on. And then check this out. Bam! Look at that. It's a shotgun shell cigar humidor. This is so cool. I was waiting to open it and crack it open until I made this video. Yeah, I'm just going to have to ruin the box, it looks like. Oh, there you are. Now, when I, when I opened my package, I got a little excited and I used my knife. <clears throat> I sliced open that pound of black gold that he threw in there. And it went everywhere. So I got a little bit of black gold all in, all in here. It's all stuck to the shell. That's my fault. This is nice. Awesome. Real high quality. 12 gauge hot, uh, shot shell cigar humidor. Can you see that? So cool. And it's like lined with cedar inside. You got your humidification system right up here in the lid. You just unscrew this. Mm -hmm. You got a little humidification disc up here. Now, I wouldn't try going to the airport with this. I think TSA might have a problem with it. Is that for tobacco or, or cigars? Cigars. And then, uh, got your seat. it's all cedar lined. I don't know if you can see that. Cedar lined inside. Are you putting moisture in here? Or? Yeah, you're putting moisture inside this little cap here. It's uh, especially good for traveling, it says, but again, I wouldn't take it to the airport. It might get funny ideas. Rough handling while traveling is no concern since the threaded cap will not shake loose as Velcro or magnet attached humidors can do to damage your cigars. If severe vibrations might damage your cigars, crinkle plastic, never use paper or foam as you would find in your grocery store's produce department to fill the open space and stop the cigar's movement. Unlike sealed humidors where overfilling cannot be judged, that let excess water soak into and spoil your cigars, access humidor or humidifiers, foam media will have no after drip. 
why can't I expect longer life between recharging? Our moisture control media holds about double play moisture elements, 93% of water uh, per unit volume. Anyway, a bunch of, uh, bunch of instructions here. It's three inches by nine, in case you're wondering. It's a faithful replica of a high base 12 gauge shotgun shell. Uh, lined with Spanish cedar for enhancing flavor. Uh, it will maintain 70% humidity for the cigars inside no matter where you travel. Rugged cylinder guarantees the cigars will not be crushed, broken, or bent inside your duffel bag, luggage, or briefcase. Take your cigars on your hunting trip or to the golf club. Yeah, I imagine going hunting, you pull this out, your hunting buddies, they're going to be <laughs> slack jawed. Awesome. Uh, golf club or around the world and always have them fresh. It makes a great decor item for your home or office and the humor holds 22 each 30 ring gauge, 11 each 43 ring gauge or 7 each of 55 ring gauge cigars. Great for those Churchills up to 8.5 inches long. Boom! So cool. Really high quality metal. Everything is really well made in here. Very nice, Scott. Thank you so much. And it also comes like a little. Oh yeah. Like a little duffel for it. Awesome. You got a case for your case. Boom. You're ready to go. Look at that. Very cool. Weather over your shoulder or whatever. Pretty pockets. Didn't look like it. So it's just a duffel for the actual human ore. This is very cool. I love this. Great product, Scott. Alright, that cover it all. Got the Peterson pins, got the rat trays. The snowflake, of course, which I love. The black gold, whole pound of that, I love that. Sheepskin pouch. And uh, matches. Is that it? We get it all? Pretty much. Man. That well, that was a sweet package, man. Yeah. And if you're not a, if you're if you're not a fan if you're not a if you don't like the uh, the Highland Cigar Facebook page, do it because every Friday he's having a giveaway. Uh, in fact, um, usually it's more than one person each giveaway. My friend won the same. He won the um, the sheepskin pouch and the, the snowflake and all that, and then someone else who uh, became a friend of Highland Cigars from me. He won some Oliva cigars uh, giveaway, and there was another great giveaway today or uh, yesterday, and that was a, that was a major haul, a bunch of great cigars and what and a, and a pipe. And so go like their page on Facebook, Highland Cigars, H I L A N D apostrophe S cigars. And make sure you get on the Friday giveaways. So, how, how, okay, so now that we've we've spent a little bit of time smoking this blend, what do you think? No bite still. I really like the fact that the smell of the tobacco, the room note of the tobacco, adds a whole lot to the taste factor. Mm -hmm. Tasting it just alone. It's, it's nice and sweet. Definitely taste the Cavendish and definitely taste the Burley. Mm. And definitely got the vanilla. Still picking up the vanilla. And toward the end of my bowl, too, because I didn't pack it very high. It doesn't burn hot. Nice, cool smoke. Mm -hmm. No tongue bite. It's a very surprised for a Peterson aromatic. Very impressed. 
Hmm. Peter Shen, well done. Definitely worth adding to your collection. Oh yes. Definitely. Well, we got about time to switch over now. I'm going to lay this aside. And let's see if we can score 100 today. I don't have How's a whole lot of my pipes unpacked from um, the move yet. That's a nice Peterson. So uh, we're trying to light up the... I'm smoking one of my Mark Balkovic pipes that he made me. Oh, we're lagging pretty bad here. What's going on? I'm going to stop the video.